I'm the Chief Learning Officer at Tinker Garden, and I'm here with my explorers and you to play today. Do you guys want to tell us your names? Well, my name's Maeve. What's my it? name's Ivy. And my name's Will. And we have Brian, who's our dad and co-founder on the other side of the camera. Hi, Dad. Hi, Brian. Hi. And Josh, who's our videographer. And we're so excited to play. Should we get started? Excellent. So we always start at Tinker Garden with warming up our senses. And we have seven senses. So if you want to warm up with us, you need to stand up or just get ready to move a little bit. And I'm going to say each line and show the movement. And then my explorers are going to do it with you. And many of you know how to do this, so join us, OK? Are you ready? OK. Open our eyes to look around. Open our eyes to look around. Tune in our ears to hear some sound. Tune in our ears to hear some sounds. Open our noses, smell the spring. Open our noses and smell the spring. Warm up our hands and feel everything. Warm up our hands and feel everything. Spin in a circle, bending down. Spin in a circle, bending down. Move our muscles, jump around. Move our muscles, jump around. Open Open our mouths to take a taste. Open our mouths to take a taste. But only when the tasting's safe. But only when the tasting's safe. Fantastic. Well, thanks. We've warmed up our senses, and now we're going to sing the song that we sing at the beginning of every Tinker Garden class and every Tinker Garden live session. And what song is that? The Tinker Garden song. The Tinker Garden song. Come to Tinker Garden. So the first animal we're going to sing about is one of the verses you'll find on our blog. And it is butterfly, because I don't know about you out there, but we started seeing butterflies in our yard, didn't we? Yeah. And I the saw way white. You saw white butterfly. That was just yesterday, right? So I'm going to tell you the words, and you just warm up your butterfly wings, and you can sing along with us. And we'll sing it twice so we get some good practice. So there's lots of ways we like to do butterfly wings. Some of us like to do them like this, others like this. You can wear whatever butterfly wings you want today but get them ready to flutter a little bit. Mm -mm. And the words go like this. Pretty, pretty, pretty butterfly, butterfly, like a rainbow in the sky. sky. Pretty, pretty, pretty butterfly, butterfly come, come to Tinker, Tinker Garden. Garden. And we'll sing it and flap our wings. Are we ready? Yep. Ready? Pretty, pretty butterfly, like a rainbow in the sky. Pretty, pretty butterfly, come to Tinker Garden. Great job! Want to do it one more time? Here we go. Pretty, pretty butterfly, like a rainbow in the sky. Pretty, pretty butterfly, come to Tinker Garden. Great job! We hope you're seeing butterflies out your window, or in your yard, or in the park near you. So we have another friend to talk about today, and we had a contest between beavers and honeybees, and who won? Honeybees! And we did a little learning about honeybees. Will, what's something that you learned about honeybees? Well, um, every second, I mean minute, they flap at least 11,400 times. Wow! And is that a big number, Will? Oh, yeah. Wow. So what, what can we hear when they flap so many times? That's why they make that buzzing sound. Did you try it yourself for a minute? Yeah, and it. I only got 160. Will only got 160, and that was actually pretty fast flapping you did. So that's amazing that honeybees flap so fast. What did you learn about honeybees, Maeve? Well, I learned that honeybees are responsible for 80% of the pollination worldwide. Wow. So that means that they pollinate flowers and plants, and what does that mean for us? That means that the honeybees are like almost all of the honeybees are responsible for our flowers and our fruits and basically all our food. Wow, so we have a lot to thank honeybees for. Ivy, what do you think about honeybees? What did you learn about honeybees? They flop really fast and they make honey. And they make honey and we love honey. And sometimes we get a little bit frightened of bees, but we remember that they only sting us if what? They'll if fight. They're if frightened. they get frightened. So if we care and we try not to scare them, that will help bees not be scare us. Mm -hmm. we, and also yeah. bees kind of move like this. Well, bees like to dance, and that was maybe the thing we liked learning the best. And their dance goes side to side, and it's called waggle waggle. 
So can you waggle waggle? All right, so if you've got your bee wings and your waggle waggle ready, we're gonna sing about honeybees. And it goes like this. Honeybee, honeybee, buzzing free. Waggle, waggle, dance to me. Honeybee, honeybee, buzzing free. Come to Tinker Garden. Should we sing it? Yeah. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay, ready? Honeybee, honeybee, buzzing free. Waggle, waggle, dance to me. Honeybee, honeybee, buzzing free. Come to Tinker Garden. Let's try it again. You can really waggle, waggle when we say that part. Are you ready? Honeybee, honeybee, buzzing free. Waggle, waggle, dance to me. Honeybee, honeybee, buzzing free. Come to Tinker Garden. Well done. That was so much fun. Thank you everyone who voted for Honeybee and for all that we learned about honeybees. And honeybees need our help. So anything you can do to buy local honey or plant plants in pots or out in your yard that bees really love, they are a little bit needing of our help and take care of our earth will help the bees too. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. But this week it's time to get inspired to play. And this week's play is all about... Creating spaces, spaces to, play. to play. Spaces to play. Well, we can play anywhere, can't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But there are some special places you can make that make pretend play and exploration even more fun. So Will and Maeve, do you want to show us what space you made? We made a science lab. Science lab. And there are some things where you can crush up petals, which we're going to do later to make a perfume that makes you breathe underwater. Do you want to show everybody the petals? Wow, so we just took stuff from the kitchen in our house and made this kind of outside lab. What and are you going to work on, Will? I am going to take maybe like one of these little dots and see what happens with it. Oh, and this is from a science kit we got water. for Christmas, but we haven't had the chance to really use all of it yet. And it's so fun to do it in our science lab. All right. Oh, Ooh, wow. wow. It turned blue. Come show everybody, Will. Yeah. And if you don't have that, you and might have food coloring or other things. And if you can <gasps> see, it's kind of like going upward. And the water is taking out kind of the tail thing. Wow. Yeah. And guys, did we have a science lab before? No, no, but we just got what we had in our house. And you can do that, too. And use right. cardboard and all sorts of stuff. So and that is going to be hours and hours of fun. I made some other perfume and the sand. Lots of perfumes and sand. And I have got a letter to mail to the science lab with some secret science plans. So Ivy, what should I do with my letter? Put it in there. Well, we also have a post office right here in our yard. Mm -hmm. A mailbox, I should say. And I'm gonna mail this letter and I'll hope it gets to the science lab because my scientists need these plans. And I'll see what Ivy's doing. Ah, where's Ivy? Oh. oh, thank you. This is just what we need for the secret formula. Perfect. And Ivy, come show us what you've got. <laughs> Ivy made herself a U.S. Postal Service mailbag, and she's been doing deliveries all over, right? Mm -hmm. So whatever you want to do to play, whatever special kind of play space, and our weekly PDF had a bunch of ideas, but these were the ideas that we were really excited about. So whatever you'd like to do in a corner of your home or out in the yard or wherever you want to build a special play space, just use the stuff you have in your imagination and you can enjoy so much play. In fact, if you go to our Outdoors All Four Facebook group right now, there are several people cooking up some really fun play spaces, right? Let's see. Amanda Davidson in Silver City, North Carolina, or Silver City, or Siler City, sorry, has a bakery with cornstarch frosting that we are so excited to try. Thank you. Amanda and family for that great idea. And you know Tiffany Arenas has a play kitchen that you're building together, kids and parents, awesome. And I also want to thank, let me see if I can see it, Tamara McClendon in Texas. We were pretty psyched to see that you guys made a bird's nest, but you were smart enough to know that the pulleys and the levers were even more fun. And that's a really important thing, everybody. You should play whatever makes your heart sing and make whatever kind of play space you want. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. What should we ask everybody? Should we ask everybody what they want to say goodbye to? Yeah. So what do you guys want to say goodbye to this week? So let us know if you're on Facebook in the comments what you'd like to say goodbye to this week. 
and we'll sing our goodbye song in just a minute. But before we do, does anyone out there remember, and my friends, do you remember that we made a giant birthday card for the Earth, for Earth Day? Yeah. Do you remember? Well, you might have helped us with that. And even if you didn't, we're making another giant card. Do you know what this card's gonna be for? What? It's a thank you card for the helpers. That's the nurses, the doctors, and the essential workers all over who are helping right now. And we wanna say thank you to them. So parents and kids, if you can help us, you can make a sign that says, thank you helpers. You can make it with sidewalk chalk or on a poster or even out of leaves and sticks mm -hmm. and take a picture and share it on our Outdoors All Four Facebook group or an Instagram using the hashtags you'll see in our bio. Okay, so it's a really big project. We can't wait to thank the thankers. Okay, Ninja thank the helpers. Ninja and male, and, male Squirrel. and squirrels. Okay, so ninjas. You wanna hold squirrel? You've got the mail. You wanna be a ninja? Okay, so we're gonna say goodbye ninjas, goodbye squirrels, goodbye mail, we'll see you again next time. All right, we'll do it one more time and we'll say goodbye to all our friends too. Honeybees. Oh, and honeybees. All right, I'll do honeybees, how about that? Goodbye ninjas, goodbye squirrels, goodbye mail, we'll see you again next time. Goodbye, honeybees. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, everyone. We'll see you again next time. Have a wonderful week of play. Share everything you do because we learned so much from you. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Share on our Outdoors All Four Facebook group and hashtag Tinker Garden. Have a wonderful week. Bye, everybody. Go play. Go play. Bye.